Big things are happening for the robotics team from the Pembroke Pines Charter Middle School West Campus. I am in the PPCMS Robotics Club and we participate in competitions locally and uh, well we eventually made it to the state competition and now we're going to Worlds. In this club we use Vex IQ Robotics Building Kit in order to build robots which adhere to a specific challenge. It's called Crossover. Furman Vasquez helped start the robotics team at the school. I used to play with Legos when I was small, but I would have never thought that that would have translated into this particular type of program. I, I never had the intentions, even while I was in school or going to college, that I would start a robotics program in a classroom or out of school. And when I just thought of the idea, I said, let's just do it. Let's see, I'll learn with the kids, we'll, we'll learn together, and we'll see where that takes us. I think it'll take us really far. Far enough that in the short time that the team has existed at the school, the students have been invited to compete in the VEX Worlds 2017 tournament in Louisville, Kentucky. So we've been to five competitions prior, and then because of all of these competitions and how we've placed, we're going to the World Competition in Kentucky. Yeah, I think it'll be a lot of fun to go to Kentucky, and um, I just really enjoy uh, being able to work together with my partners and really be able to compete against all these people from all over the world. The students stay after school and spend a lot of their free time working on the robots. But for them, it's not work, it's fun. The creativity, because I love, I love building things and stuff. Like I personally love Legos and, and this with the mechanics and how you can use a remote or just program it to drive by itself. I, I love the idea of all of that and the creativity it involves. So it's really cool to like piece together the robots and like be able to see what it's able to do. The students in this program are really smart. They, they are dedicated and, and, and I can tell you from firsthand experience just working with them almost every day. They're, they're driven, they have a purpose. I've never worked with a group of students that have pushed me to be better. I always find teachers having to push the students to accomplish the things that they know they can, but these students know they can accomplish it, and they want me to back them and push them to the limits that they probably would have never thought they could reach to. Just because these students are in middle school doesn't mean that they aren't thinking about their futures in robotics. Well, I think I'd really like to get into engineering and stuff when I'm older. I probably will use this in the future for like technology careers. I hope to build robots when I'm older. I, I expect them to continue to excel, and I expect them to go to college and, and become scientists and mathematicians and computer engineers and engineers in general when that time comes. And I, and, and I hope they come back and visit me and say, Mr. Vasquez, look what I became because of robotics. My dad was an engineer and I, do, I did like the idea of it because it involved like math and creativity and like that. But now seeing this, I do, it has made me want to become an engineer more. Even though the students have earned the right to compete at a world level, sometimes the best part is just being on the team. The best thing about this whole journey has been watching them grow. How much they've matured, how much they've really, they've put into the club and now they're reaping the benefits. And I think that journey is something that I won't ever forget. Coolest thing would be um, just just having your, your own ideas come to life and then seeing it compete and actually winning. Because now we're going to world, so you know, we're doing really well. 